Welcome to the Delmarva Almanac. Each week, we connect you to the best of Delmarva. I'm your host, Dana Kester McCabe. Lori Connor is a self taught muralist and art teacher with a studio in Milford, Delaware, a town with a vibrant and growing cultural scene. I found the studio, which was originally a, um, a Greyhound bus station in 1910, but it's been different businesses since then. So I was walking by and I saw it for lease. So I just, my mind started thinking, you know, this could be something more. I was a teacher in Calvary Christian Academy and Kingdom Christian Academy. And I love, I love art and I like kids. So it's just, they go together. And I, did, I love all ages to teach, but I, you know, in the schools it's from like K-4 to high school. And um, when I was done with that, I just, I would just do my art. But then now that all these paint nights have come out, I said, wow, that's perfect. I love to paint and I have my art studio, so I'm gonna start doing that too. Cause you know, and it's nice because I don't have to grade anybody anymore. There's that stress is gone. <laughs> Lori holds painting parties where she helps participants each complete a painting in a fun atmosphere. She has had groups of all ages celebrating various different events. She also has held parties for special groups like one for breast cancer survivors. The paintings they do tell stories of hope and joy. I like, I like painting people and I like painting something that has a meaning behind it. It's a visual instead of using words because you can go straight to the heart without because sometimes you can speak something and it doesn't mean as much as when you when you draw something or paint and when somebody looks at it it can really just it gets you right there you know because i think that with all the negativity in the world i think that art is beautiful and i just think that when somebody looks at something that makes them feel good it just helps them make it through their day you know because we have to take things day by day you know it depends if I'm teaching a class, I gear it towards something that I can teach and I can explain while I'm teaching to make it a, a, like fit in within two hour span. But if it's something personal, one could just be like, just fun and whimsical. One could be where you look at it and you're, and it's speaking to you like at a spiritual level because it helps minister to people. And usually a lot of times people buy art because they want it in their home. And when they look at it, it makes them feel a certain way. So they just look at it and it may, it may trigger a memory or help them with growth or healing or something like that. Lori has done a number of paintings that celebrate our heritage. Well, we were doing an event at church and we needed some African American History Month um, paintings. And we couldn't find any. So I said, well, I'll just paint them, you know, because I wanted something positive. And it's part of all of our history, you know. I just love history, things like that. Lori's biggest project right now is on a mural project in Milford, along with two other local artists, Gilbert Rodriguez and Demarcus Shelbourne. They designed the mural with input from an organizing committee, and it is being completed with assistance from six Milford High School students. And the biggest thing we're doing is the mural project. We are Milford mural project, <laughs> tongue twister. I got a call one day and um, they asked if I would like to be a part of the mural project because they needed three artists. So they have Danny and Gil and then they asked me and I'm like, I didn't even, I didn't even say, where is there anything? I'm just like, yes, I'll do it. And um, it's going to be on the side of arenas and it's, it's 12 by 24 feet and it's in nine, it's in like nine, panels so we have never seen it laid out, out at once so <laughs> that's the biggest thing and that's April 10th and then they asked me and I'm like I didn't even I didn't even say where is there anything I'm just like yes I'll do it and I just you know from there from then on we've just been painting and working and doing our collage and I'm just really excited that's like it's like waiting for Christmas April 10th you know <laughs> The panels were are three of us artists, and it's a it's a collaboration of the local like the clock downtown and the the kiosk and the river and the library and things like that, and the things that they do downtown because they have the um, the bug and bud festival and eat in the street. You know they have the ballet dancers and then like different people dancing. So just cool. Which one are you gonna work on? the ballet dancer. I like it because I'm all about bringing people together 
I don't think that there's so many there's so much on the news that causes division and even though it's a diversity mural we were it's more of a unity mural so that it's like you're gonna see different shades of hands and different flags and no one's left out it's like it's just it's for everybody to enjoy you know it's just it's really beautiful the We Are Milford mural will be unveiled at a special event Sunday, April 10th, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. at Arenas, Milford's only restaurant with an outdoor eating area overlooking the river. Find out more about Lori Connor and many other cultural events on our website, delmarvaalmanac.com slash arts. Well, that's all for this edition of the Delmarva Almanac. Be sure to follow us on Facebook or Twitter, and next week join us to learn more about our local culture and get connected to our natural wonders. If you'd like to become an underwriter for this program, visit delmarvaalmanac.com support. We'd like to thank our community partners, the Friends of Delmarva Public Radio, the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore, and underwriters, eatdrinkbyart.com, for their help in bringing this program to you, our audience. Our theme music was provided by Brightside Studio. This show has been a Moonshell production. Thanks for listening. Until we meet again, may the rhythms and tides of Delmarva bring you good fortune.